Back in 1841, when the railway work started, people from other parts of the UK were encouraged to migrate to the town to fill the newly created jobs. Those migrants made Swindon great, and that's why today, the most forward-thinking businesses are again looking outside traditional sources for employees to fill their critical vacancies. Right here in Swindon, there is an untapped talent pool of multilingual skilled and unskilled workers. There are accountants, doctors, lawyers, managers, engineers, painters, drivers, linguists, diplomats, shop workers, metal workers, agricultural workers, oh, and IT specialists like Sanar. Sanar had been studying towards an IT career before his life was torn apart by war. He had had to leave his home and make a fresh start in the UK. Last September, he was told he could stay, and although his dream job was in IT, he wanted to support himself and took a night shift warehouse job with Amazon, rather than relying on benefits. Sanar worked at night and used the days to get in the best position to secure his dream job in IT before the seasonal work came to an end. He worked on his CV, his skills and applications, and for one job interview, he taught himself a new computer language in three days. His hard work and focus paid off, and before the seasonal work ended, Sanar had multiple job offers and started with a great salary in the job of his dreams. There are other immigrants like Sanar waiting to add value to your business through the Steps to Work programme. Steps to Work has been designed for Harbour to help asylum seekers and refugees integrate into the community. They start by learning English and giving back to the community through volunteering. And our aim, as they continue through the programme, is to help them connect with Swindon locals, learn about UK culture and ultimately find work when they're allowed to do so. To find out more, contact Bronwyn Young. Steps to work at harbourproject.org.uk